welcome my friends today I would like to show you one of my 5s model uh, this one works off of 220 volts uh, over there I have a transformer converting 110 to 220 and it comes here to this plug and I have my meter connected I'm going to show you that's 254 volts coming into this pulser. I'll disconnect this and get it connected to the unit on the back. Here we are. Here we are. All right. Well, this specific unit doesn't have a pulse counter, which usually I do put into. 5S model, each one of the 5S model has a pulse counter, but for this specific model, customer um, didn't want to have a pulse counter and I had to do some modifications to this unit per his request. Um, he wanted to have, he wanted to be able to connect a lower resistance coils and so <clears throat> he asked me to put in um, a stronger thyristor inside the unit as well as a wires that would come out um, to, to carry a high current. Anyway, so this unit is like um, a sport model of my S uh, standard model. So, let's go look at the specs from this unit. See if I can if I can see it here. Um, power draw 300 watts, peaks average 75 watts, working voltage 220 to 240 volt AC. Power output in Teslas. Um, 50% 1.2 Tesla, 75%, 1.7 Tesla, 100%, 2.4 Tesla, at manual, 2.8 Tesla. How long does it take to recharge between the pulses? At 50%, it takes one second, 75% takes two seconds, two, three seconds, at 100% takes about five seconds. At manual it takes about 10 seconds for full recharge. How long does it take before coil gets hot and thermal switch triggers? It takes around 10 minutes. Capacitor bank here is 1550 microfarad and it's charging it uh, up to a thousand volt. Uh, this unit has uh, six foot wires with attach coil here is attached coil it's temporarily attached uh, this unit will be sent without coil customer is gonna have to uh, he will be installing his own coil on this unit so let's give it some power tests and um, I'm gonna show you how this unit performs and what it's capable of Let's start with um, power test at 25% and um, I'll have my Tesla meter here. It's already set to pick the highest value here and I have my probe here. So let's go ahead and start the unit. Take some measurements at 25%, I'm sorry 50%. All right, I'm gonna bring the Tesla meter closer so we can see the measurements. All right, bring it closer. 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 1. 
it's 1.2 Tesla. I don't know why it's showing negative here. Let me reset it and do it one more time. Alright. 0.7. Maybe I should flip the probe. Yeah, now it's showing that positive. Alright, I guess I have wired um, south pole coming out from here. I didn't um, didn't didn't look what positive what negative here and got him mixed up. So now I have to use the probe upside down. I don't know. I hope that's not gonna. Well, I'm gonna use the probe correct way. I'm just gonna ignore the negative sign in there. All right. So from this setting here. We're getting about 1.1, uh, 1.2 Tesla. So let's move on to the 75% and measure the 75%. Takes slower for pulses. 1.7 Tesla, 1.72. I think that's the highest it will go. So 1.7 Tesla at 75% and let's go 100% we have 2.2 Tesla 2.24 let's see if I can get a little more 2.24 that's at 100% and let's go manual and manual I'll have to use a remote to trigger I have it set up here I have my probe ready to go I count three one two three right. 2.8 Tesla see if I can get a little more than that sorry about that let's wait about another five seconds or so and try it one more time let's see if I can push this probe flat with the coil. All right. One, two, three. There we go. 3.18 Tesla. All right, you guys. This is almost 32,000 gas. Almost 32,000 gas. From this unit. This is actually the highest value that I have gotten so far. And um, so far, this is the strongest pulser I have. Um, of course, I don't have to have these wires, these thick wires coming out. Uh, I usually would connect this straight into the unit uh, this is just per customer request but um, same way you would get about three Tesla in manual uh, discharge coming out from this unit so let me shut this off charge it and show you from the back I know it's sunny, hard to see. Also, I want to do a um, band test very quick, and I'd like to show you guys what 3 Tesla uh, looks like. Just a second. 
sorry about that. Alright, so pen test. Now usually I have my 20 24 gram aluminum stack sheets. It contains about 124 layers of aluminum. Um, this weighs 24 gram. Then I have another stack here. This weighs 14 gram. And then another one. This weighs 10.3 gram. So together, these two weighs another 24 gram. And so if I put it all together, that's 48 gram of aluminum. And we'll give it a pen test. I'll stack it here. I'll have my marker that I will hold it. And we'll try to bend it with magnetic force coming out from this unit. All right, you guys, on the count three. One, two, three. Jesus. Oh my gosh, my marker started leaking. I messed up my marker. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> 